Ho, 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 ho. Welcome back to Clawhammer Supplies uh, Brewing Beer Series where we brew world class, top quality beer in a single vessel system. Today we're going to brew, I guess we're going to call it a sour Christmas ale. Yeah, sour, sour Christmas ale, tart Christmas ale. Let's get started. All right. We got some pale malt, pretty much 70% pale, two row, about 6% wheat malt. What's the dark? That is roasted. either gonna be roasted barley, probably. Yeah, it's real roasty. I know we got some Carbol 40 in there, or Crystal 40. I'm not sure which we got. And then there's a tiny bit of special roast in there as well, which is kind of gonna be that like a bready biscuit thing, maybe. Cool. That's just a small percentage, 4%. Is that everything? That is everything. And then we're uh, mashing at 154. We're gonna mash for 60 minutes. We actually just put the water on and set the controller, went out, grabbed lunch, so it's preheated. Yeah, it's ready to go. So I always just like to turn the pump off, pull the lid up, water will go down the hose a little bit, close the ball valve. It's behind the microwave. Perfect spot. How many pounds of grains have we got going on here? Somewhere in the 12. People ask often how much grain can we fit, how much water can we fit in here. It's a what, 10 and a half gallon kettle. I'd say you can get 14 pounds of grain. Yeah. Probably 16 if you held a little water back. Yeah. And then added it. Um, it sparks with it towards the end. Right. That's probably plenty good there. Yep. Okay. yep. What's your mash up? 154. 154. Yeah, it only drops about a half a degree. Yeah, and I I leave the element on, I just turn the pump off. Yeah. Because the grains are at room temperature, which is mm -hmm. high 60s right now. Right. So some people won't overshoot to compensate for that. But I've just found if you leave the element on, get the grains in and stir. Yeah. By the time you get the grains in you're pretty much right back to where you need to be. And then you don't have to worry about overshooting it. If you're gonna be taking a while, like you gotta go crush your grains or like get more grains or something, turn your element off. If you're just dumping them right now, you're golden. So we'll let this do its thing for 60. What do you think about my lights, man? All day lights look really nice. I think we're missing something like there. Yeah. Stockings. Stockings. I think we need some stockings. Maybe a nice wreath. Well, holiday week could be cool. Uh, you know what I think I'm gonna do from the 60 minutes because I didn't want to do emails anyway. I'm gonna put some stockings up. Well, I'll uh, set the timer and uh, do some emails. If you email, I'll get ya. <laughs> Clark. It's a beaut clock. It's 60 a minute mash. Dunzo. Cool. We're gonna kill the pump. We're gonna boil for 10 minutes. I don't know how much water weighs. Oh my god. Ah, that wasn't too bad. I'm just gonna ramp this up to uh, manual mode. You can hear it kick on. Yeah. You want to take grab your reading? Sure. Yeah, this is, it looks like 1040, Oof. which is right where we want to exactly be. Exactly where we want to be yeah, for so. souring, because anything over 1040, your lactobacteria struggles. kind of struggles, doesn't yeah. work. We'll take a pH, you want to do a pH sure. right quick. So this is perfectly calibrated. We, we're trying to dip that in some distilled water real quick. Let's give her a little dip a -roo. Though. Maybe. It's like borderline. I think like if you can wipe it up with say like one paper towel. It's a non-spill. I think it's a, not a full spill. I, I agree. So let's talk about what we're modeling this beer on. Great Lakes Christmas Sale. The Great Lakes Christmas Sale. Yes. Yeah, so I just looked at the model 
and saw what ingredients they were using. Oh, they print it right on the bottle? Not percentages, but oh. they put hmm. the list of grains on there. Thanks, Great Lakes. Great beer. It is a great beer. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it used to be way higher alcohol content than it is now. I don't know if they changed it or if it just, it definitely is one you only want to have a couple. Cause yeah. It, and that's kind of why we toned this down A for pre boiled gravity mm -hmm. of 1040 or below. You know, I'd like to sip on a couple of them and not be hammered. Yeah, it's a holiday beer. You want to take it to your Christmas party. Yeah. Family get together. Yeah. It's cool to get a little buzz on. Not so cool to black out. Right. Yeah. You want to be invited back to your party. <laughs> so we're sitting right at 5.44 of the pH. Should be a lot better this time because we're starting off with a way better pH meter. If you're going to be doing sour beers, either kettle sours or regular straight up sours, it, mm -hmm. it's worth spending a little bit of money. We threw away, I think, four or five. Cheap. PH Cheap meters. pH meters. We finally landed on the Milwaukee MW102 pH temp meter. Yeah. Smart pH meter. Which it has real good reviews. Yeah. I mean, we calibrated that like a month ago. Mm -hmm. but it's still yeah. perfect. Not so. so. Ooh. Real good. All right. This has been dripping for, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. Let's go. Take it out and put it. Bucket. If you put it on a tilt, it'll drain into the bucket so you don't have to worry about it spilling everywhere. So, And then I'm just going to put the lid on just to speed it up to come to a boil. Uh, as soon as we get closer to a boil, I'll pull the lid off. And then this is just going to be a quick 10 minute boil and that's strictly just to kill anything if there's anything in there. So we're up to a boil. It's been boiling for a few minutes. We're just going to recirculate the wort through the flat plate. Just precautionary measure. Yeah, we've already sanitized it with some PBW and we're gonna circulate some boiling wort through it just to make absolutely certain that there's any uh, microbes or little critters in there that will infect this. I think we say that in every video, <laughs> yeah. but it's just something we do. You don't have to do it, but it's simple. I mean, I think it's especially important here because we're gonna leave this sit for over the weekend at least yep. with just the souring bacteria in it. So there won't be any yeast in it at all. So. Oh, There's oh. our spell. Oh man. Ah. Oh. A little bit of spill, so I'm just gonna kill the uh, speed on the pump. Just turn it down a little bit. Well, Shamwell Leahy's what <laughs> Pro tip. Pro tip. What's that? Buy a liquid retention rubber mat and put it below the area where you're brewing, which is it works well. what we have down here. You can spill stuff on it. Yeah, this thing's great. Yeah, this mat's awesome. It catches all the It spills. catches, I'd, well, say that expensive. I'd say up to a half gallon. Probably, yeah, literally probably I've spilled, uh, spilled some things. Speaking of pro tips, we have some holiday pro tips. Clawhammer's Guide to Christmas. Yep. <clears throat> Come up with a little list. You gotta make sure you're ready for the holidays. You gotta prepare. You, don't light, want to you need lights, you need candy yeah. canes. You don't want to be rolling into the holidays naked. Amateur hour. This is... N in no particular order. I'm gonna go in particular order. Okay. Is that a statement? No, go ahead. Alcohol. Okay, alcohol. That's number one. Nothing else really matters. If you go to a party that doesn't have beer or whiskey or a family event, not gonna be fun. Social lubrication. Yes. Aunt Susie, you need a couple shots before you get into that. Yeah, pregame. Yep. What's Moderation. Your... Moderation. As well. Now let's get back out of order. Okay. Holiday haircuts. Key. You gotta give it like three or four yeah, days. You gotta give it a few days. Yeah, you so don't wanna. It's like going to a wedding, you get a haircut the day before. Yeah. Terrible, terrible yeah, day. Exactly. You gotta give yourself yeah. a week, let it let it look good. Trim the beard. Look at this. I yeah. mean, this is like. Six for four itself. Days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get the, the beard trimmed. You got beautiful Irish Santa beard going on. Yeah. There. So, I mean, I think a Santa suit, I'll be good to go. Wear a nice guy shirt. Yeah. Also, yeah. known as a good guy shirt. This Some, mainly goes for single gentlemen. It's also for non-single gentlemen, but you have more of a reason to wear a nice guy shirt when you're single. Nice guy shirt, something with buttons on it. Perhaps. A collar. A collar. Minimal stainage. And if it has stains, yeah. a sweater over yeah. it. But a good guy shirt, nice guy shirt, right. really classes it up. Remove the cat hair. <laughs> yeah, get a cat brush Yeah. and uh, remove that. Don't give lame gifts. Cash is good. Positive. Or no gifts. Make a gift. Make a gift. Perhaps. Whether but it'd be a six beer, pack. yeah, six pack, a twelve pack. A keg. Give the gift of lifetime beer. There you go. Which would be a brew system. Yep. Hint. Hint. Homemade gifts, I think, are always better than you know. My mom usually knits me something. 
and those are the best. Homemade food, homemade beer. Our spice kits that we have. Yes. Awesome homemade gift idea. Uh, make your own fireball whiskey. You got the peach pie, the firebomb, and then the uh, apple. Oh, so Santa's come early here. But these are easy, great gifts. I think that's the end of the shameless self-promotion. Watch good movies? Yeah, definitely. Christmas Vacation? Great movie. Classic. Bad a, Santa? A Christmas Story? I think perhaps great movie. one of the best movies ever made. Yeah. Period. I love the part where they're uh, opening the crate. Fragile. That was uh, Charlie Brown Christmas. Definitely. Good Christmas movies. And bad Christmas movies. And have fun. Hang out with your friends, family. And sometimes you bring the booze along because so you've got to hang out with people you don't enjoy. All but right. uh, happy, happy Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Festivus. Whatever you're into. So I think... That's been boiling for about 10 minutes. We've been recirculating for a couple. I think we're good to call that fully sanitized. I think we're in good shape to kill the element. All right. And I'll get the hoses hooked up and try not to make a mess. Ooh, I need a tasty beverage. And it's Friday. It is Friday. Usually people start drinking on Friday. I stop. I've had enough. I've had enough. Here in the office this week. Yeah, the uh, session IPA is now gone. Killed the session IPA in record time. That came out really good. I don't even know it if was we great. Did. It was amazing. I don't even think we did a tasting video on that. Just Kyle drank it all before oh, we could. I didn't. No. Damn. Yeah, you drank it all. But I do have a can of it. Okay, that's by far my favorite beer we've made. So, so we're basically chilling the kettle down to 95, and we're doing 95 because in the last kettle, kettle sour we did, we started at 75, and it was just super slow. It was running, yeah. It was Working, but we're working very slowly. Yeah, so we're, we're trying to brew this beer on Monday. It's Friday. Yeah, so we're hoping by Monday we come in and it's where we need it to be. It's chilling pretty quickly. We're down to 166, so we'll let it do its thing and wait. Homebrew is basically waiting. So we have this set at 95. Yep, cooled it down to 95. Just yeah. turned the controller to 95. Yeah. It's a little awkward because we have a face in the camera so you guys can see what's going on. Yeah, just one, yeah, one note about this. In the last several videos, we've had the controller sitting with the control panel face up. That's actually not how it's meant to be used. This is meant to be the top and the buttons are on the sides and the plugs are on the side. This is so if anything ever gets spilled on this, that minimizes the chances that it would get in here and short something. There's actually a little lip on the inside of this panel. I can't show it to you right now because it's running. But if water ever spilled down into here, it would actually get shed to the left and right and would not get inside the controller on this. And if you're going to be feature. brewing in a space, you're always brewing. Yeah. Comes with mounting. Yeah, too. there are, there are mounting holes in the back, so you can actually mount this to a wall. That's what I plan on doing. Which is, yeah, that's how it's meant to be. But if that's facing it's a lot easier. We're all about showing you what's happening. So, so everything's cooled down. We're heating back up. We're just gonna go ahead and put some of this back in the old system. Forgot we were cooling this one down twice, so I didn't factor the loss of this into my beer, which I always do. Not a huge deal. Here we go. There's gravity, man. Science. That's pretty much everything. That's pretty much all of it. Yeah. Usually it's not this difficult. Next Usually time, I... Next time we'll factor the line loss. It's factored into the second chilling. Right. Just not into the, the first, so. All right, so we're at the point of the game where we're gonna start adding our lactic acid. So we did capfuls last time. Yeah. Let's start with that. What do you think? Yeah, go for it. So that's one cap full. And this is 88% for all you want to know. We're at about 4.9 after that addition. Oh, after that addition, okay. yeah. You might do like... Quarter? Yeah, I was gonna say half. Okay. Have you seen the, the YouTube sensation, the chef that does the, the salt? I'm look that up, man. Check it out. I think I might improve your lactic acid again. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're doing a last minute calibration here. Calibration procedure. So we did a last minute calibration just to make sure we're on yeah. point. We need a smidge. We're at 4.6 right now. So like, I'm just gonna do like half of what you did last time? Yeah. What'd you do in, how'd you do in chemistry class in college? In college? Yeah. Do you think I took chemistry in college? You didn't take chemistry in college? No. We're still a little high, man. So, that's gonna be the perfect amount. Oh. 
Went too far. How did that happen? Went too far. That's all right. We're That's pretty close. 4.4 and 4. Yeah, it's not bad. 4.46. 4.46. There she goes. So. Come on. Keep climbing. I think that'll be fine. Okay, 4.46. We're close enough. Nothing we can do about it now. Nope. We were both leaning on this kettle with our dirty arms. Dirty arms. What month did you last shower in? It's been a while. Yeah. So I'm just going to rub some star sand on this. Dunk this in star sand. This is how you do it right here. That's the, uh, <laughs> the pro tip. We put a plug in the top of the lid to keep air out of here. We do have we have oxygen in here. It's like too late. We were gonna purge this with CO2, but nobody got time for that. Nobody's got time for that. Are we getting paid to do this? Come on. And then put a couple pounds of honey on here. Yeah, just to weigh it down. Yeah. So that's nice and tight. We're set at and we're at 95.7, so that'll uh, regulate perfectly. And that's how you brew the first half of a Christmas sour. Sour Christmas. If you drink this, you won't have a sour Christmas. No, no. Am I gonna look in there to see what's going on? Yeah, I'm gonna pull it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely fermenting. Yeah. Um, we're gonna add our yeast nutrient, and then we're gonna add our spices. I mean, that was sanitized, that was boiled, the lid was on it. I don't know. Take the shoes off. Yeah, I mean, I like grab my armpits on things. Right. Now, yeah. Here we go, man. 